today and welcome to my video and since you clicked on this video you already know what it's going to be about it's going to be about my first impressions of the uh battle beaver pro pick controller um i feel like this is a pretty viable option for a lot of people out there because like me i'm sure there's a lot of people out there who don't have patience uh, to wait for a custom controller to show up you know it takes a long time. It could take up to maybe even two months. Um, I ordered this uh, Pro Pick controller from Battle Beaver, and it got to me in a week. So if you don't want to wait around, feel free to, to get this. Uh, I was going to buy it once before, but then the wait was about like eight to, eight to ten days. But I that at that time, I decided not to buy uh, the controller. But I did now. Uh, it cost me... After the discounts and shipping and everything, and I got a uh, four-foot USB cable with it, it cost me around $195 or so. So $195 to get a pretty solid controller, and you get it within a week. Um, I think that's awesome. But yeah, this is this is uh, completely about my my first impressions of the controller. Um, uh, I know this channel is relatively new, and I don't expect many people to know, but I am a mouse and keyboard player mostly uh i love playing mouse and keyboard i played i started playing mouse and keyboard about four years ago uh, when i switched over the pc from console and i just kind of wanted to get back into my roots a little bit because mouse and keyboard is fun and exciting but i also want to be able to challenge myself a little bit and uh say call of duty um i watched a lot of uh, uh cdl and i watched a lot of pro streams so i thought Okay, if I'm going to put a lot of time into watching these guys, I should at least play like them when I'm playing Call of Duty. But everything else, I'm still pretty much going to be playing mouse and keyboard. Um, so just to run through the controller here real quick. Um, I just got a straight black controller. Uh, nothing too fancy. They had different colors. They have gold, camo, uh, camo green. They have also... Uh, red, camo red, and a few other choices. Some of them were sold out, but you know... I don't really care too much about the aesthetics of the controller because it's going to be underneath the desk here the whole time. I'm not really going to be looking at it, so what's the big, you know, idea? I don't need it. Um, the big thing about this controller is it does have the digital tap bumpers and triggers, and it's essentially a mouse click, and I, they're not loud at all, just like I don't think the back buttons are too loud at all, because, but a lot of people, for some reason, think the back buttons are way too loud, but I don't believe so because um, here's my mouse click. You hear that? That's my mouse click. These are the back buttons. Not really too much different. So here's the triggers. Here's the bumpers. There you go. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Simple, reliable, awesome. Um, also, it comes with stock PS4 sticks, I believe. Um, for me, the stock PS4 sticks are a little too small. And I like to play with uh, these uh, domed uh, grips that I put on top of them because... I feel like it fits my thumb a lot better because I have big, big thumbs. But I'll take one off real quick so you can see a different in comparison to the size. I think it's a huge change. Plus, it gives it a little bit more height. So if you don't like uh, control freaks or anything that, like that, I, a, I would uh, recommend something like this. Um, but yeah, the, the buttons are really responsive. Uh, the triggers and bumpers are really responsive. Um, right now, since I'm transitioning over from mouse to keyboard on uh, Cold War to controller, it is a bit frustrating because I'm not as good on controller right now as I am on my mouse and keyboard. So I can't let that get me distraught because if I'm not doing so good on my controller, hey, I shouldn't expect myself to be that good uh, that quick because I have been taking a long, a long time off of playing on controller. Um, I do have another controller that I use during more casual games, um, like if it's an open world, like third person game or or something like that, or a sports game. I usually play on my Razer Wolverine Tournament Edition Xbox controller, which is a great controller. But if I wanted to play, you know, something more competitive, like not necessarily competitive, but just like a faster, quick FPS shooter. You got to go with Battle Beaver over this. And this isn't good for like driving and driving games and stuff like that. So I do recommend this. It's 80 bucks. It's not nothing ridiculous. Um, 
So if you don't want to drop a bunch of money on this, the Razer uh, Wolverine Terminator Edition is a great substitute because I play the new Madden with this. I'll play, you know, open world third person games and other stuff like that and sports games and driving games with this controller. So all in all, oh, also I forgot to mention that I did have the rumbles taken out and so just because it's just lighter it's lighter it just feels a lot better in your hands and you don't really need it during all call of duty you don't really need the rumbles in because it might just throw you off some people like it some people don't it's whatever and yeah you just have the bumpers to x and circle uh, i'm not sure which way i have it my left is x my right is circle so yeah i i do love the controller i put a good amount of time into it right now but I would like to give a better review over maybe a few months after I've been getting back into the the mix of playing on controller. So uh, this is kind of like my first real official video in a way. So if you did like uh, my quick uh, first impressions and run through of the Battle Beat for Customs controller, if you have any other, any other questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments. And that's it. You can like the video if you want, you can subscribe to it, do whatever. I'm going to be streaming uh, my progression with the controller uh, more f frequently, maybe like next week because I've just been busy with work uh, lately and I would like to put more time in the streaming, but I just haven't right now. So yeah, awesome. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and get sketched out with me. Later.